Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today I have a grocery haul and meal plan video for you guys and it is of course keto friendly. I'm gonna start out by saying my grocery budget was basically cut in half. Chris left to go out of town and work in Georgia for a few weeks to months. We never know. So it's just me and the girls at this point. It's going to be costing us a lot less. Although, he's gonna be picking up the slack. Remember, he's gonna be eating while on the road. So if this is the first time you've ever watched one of my videos, I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Our keto family is growing leaps and bounds over on my Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. I'll have that linked below in the description box for you. Wonderful group of people who are very supportive and encouraging, so go check them out. And I also have an Instagram page, which I'll have the name right down here at the bottom of the screen for you, so you can go over there and follow me. I do daily stories. I also do updates, before and after pictures, tons of stuff going on over there. Some really exciting news for you guys. If you're watching this video on Saturday or Sunday, the 25th and 26th, I have a coupon code for you. It is from Perfect Keto and it is buy one, get one 40% off. The link will be in the description box and all the information and the discount codes you'll need to use. Right now is the perfect time to stock up. If you only need a few items, buy one, get one 40% off is a great deal. So make sure you click on that link and go check them out. Okay, let's go ahead and let me show you everything I picked up at Aldi, Walmart, Ingles. It wasn't that many things, but I went to a lot of stores this week. My Aldi haul is small, and guess why? Because we are finishing up this month strong on the freezer challenge. It's all about getting your refrigerator and freezer cleaned out so that you don't have any waste. This was something Nicole Burgess done. It's hashtag freezer challenge and our freezer is looking so empty and that's good. That's something you wanna to try to do occasionally so that you don't have freezer burn or waste any food. So that's why, again, all my hauls have been so small for the month of January. Everything here from Aldi this week was under $20. I think it was 19 something with tax and all. I just needed to, again, pick up some veggies. I do feed my children veggies and pick up a few snacks and things like that. So I went ahead and got one sausage. This is the sausage that I like that they carry because there's no sugar added. And I think I'm gonna make a sausage balls this week for them to have for breakfast. So it's a good grab and go thing for them. I needed a Duke's mayonnaise. It's our favorite. It's not the best. There is no sugar added if you're wondering, but it does have soybean oil, which is an inflammatory. So read your labels. This is the one we pick up. We, you know, make concessions on certain things and this is definitely one of them. For snacks, I picked up one of the Biltongs. This is the Smoked Biltong Protein Snacks. These are actually pretty good. Not horrible ingredients in here, you can see. It's not really high fat, it is more high protein. So make sure you get your fats in if you're eating this as a snack. We like it and I was completely out so I went ahead and got one. Veggies, that's what we needed most of this week. I picked up one of the green beans. This is just the cut green beans, the Happy Harvest. These are pretty cheap at Aldi. They're about 49 cents, I believe. We like to pick these up and have them on hand in case we need a quick veggie. And then I also picked up one of the mushrooms because I think I'm gonna be making a meatball casserole this week and I wanna throw some mushrooms in there. So picked up those two. The steamable vegetables I picked up are on repeat as always. One of the broccoli, one of the asparagus, and one of the Brussels sprouts. These two I just steam in the bags and dump what little bit of water is out and then I'll put them in a bowl, add some butter and salt, and you're done. My Brussels sprouts, I've told you this a million times and I know you're getting tired of it. Just leave them frozen. Dump them in a skillet with bacon grease, maybe some bacon crumbles. Brown those up till they're nice and crispy. And if you want to even add some Parmesan cheese, absolutely delicious that way. If you have not tried Brussels sprouts yet on your keto journey, you need to. I never touched them before, absolutely hated them, and now they are probably, yeah, they're probably my favorite vegetable. I could eat them every day. 
Got the girls just one cucumber to snack on and picked up a butter. This is the Countryside Creamery Sweet Cream Unsalted Butter. You get four sticks in here and I like to add these to my keto chow and pretty much anything else I eat to get in some extra fats. Love me some butter. I think I'm Paula Dean's daughter. And then the last two things that I picked up were just some stock ups. It is the onion powder and garlic powder. I hate to run out of these. And so I went ahead and picked up one each extra for my pantry. They're only 95 cents at Aldi and these are really good spices. So pick those up and that is it. Really, really small haul. Walmart grocery haul this week is about as simple as it gets. You can tell we went a little hog wild with the two good yogurts, especially while they had the strawberry in. Got five of those and five of the blueberries. This from Walmart, these are $1.25 or $1.24 a piece. So everything that I spent at Walmart this week was only $12.40. I stopped by Ingles this week to pick up some ice cream. It's the only one in my area that carries the Rebel and Enlightened. I spent $19 on three ice creams. Kerrigan picked up the triple chocolate. Briley wanted the mint chip. And I got the Enlightened for me. This one is the chocolate peanut butter. But upon further inspection, when I got home, one of the ingredients in this is sugar. Apparently it is a small amount because the carb count is still considered low. Basically if you ate this entire pint, you're getting four net carbs. So I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do about the enlightened ice cream. I may do a blood glucose test for you guys and see what happens. But from Ingles this week, $19. So the meal plan this week is super simple like it always is. On Sunday, I'm going to make meatball casserole. I have some of the Rayos sauce up in the refrigerator I want to use because I definitely don't want that stuff to go bad. You know how expensive it is. So I'm going to make that and we'll have asparagus to go with it. On Monday, just going to be having some leftovers. On Tuesday, we're keeping it Taco Tuesday like we normally do. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing the taco bowls again. I'm gonna be using beef this time instead of chicken like I did here. But in the bowls, so many of you commented that you wanted to see how I made the taco bowls in the chaffle bowl maker. So I'm gonna be showing that in a what I eat in a day video that will be on Monday. So make sure you stay tuned for that. On Wednesday, I'm gonna be making some jambalaya. It's the last of our kielbasa sausages. What was the brand? Oh, those were the Zatarans that I pick up at Sam's. We absolutely love those. They have just a little bit of spice to them. They're really good. Briley and Kerrigan even eat them, so they're not really spicy. But I want to go ahead and make that, and I think I'm going to make some cheesecakes for dessert so that, you know, we have everything we need. In the jambalaya, I used riced cauliflower, and I picked that up at Aldi when they have it, but I know you can pick it up at several other stores. Add tons of seasonings to that, of course, and spice it up, but it is so good. If you've not tried it, make sure you do. Okay, let's go to, what is that, Thursday. Thursday is always my leftover days. It was because Briley was in an extracurricular activity after school, which she decided she no longer wanted to do, but on this Thursday, I have to go get my crowns put on and I'm not going to be eating probably so the kids can have leftovers and I can just lay there and wallow in my misery because you know I hate dental work. Friday, hopefully I'll be up for eating and I'm going to do some pizza grilled cheese sandwiches with that Aldi bread. I'm looking forward to those. I'll add a little bit more of the Rayo sauce to it. I'll do it in a skillet on the stove. Um, I'll make it just like a regular grilled cheese, but I'll add like the deli pepperoni. I have some of that left over and some mozzarella cheese. Really looking forward to Friday, and I think we're going to turn that into a movie night if the kids don't have anything to do.
Okay, and then on Saturday, got those burgers that have to be used up in the outside freezer. I think there's five boxes, and that's pretty much all that's out there except for, I think, two loaves of Aldi bread that I freeze. Um, they are the ones that I pick up at a discount store that we had in our area. They're really expensive burgers because there are no hormones or um, they're grass-fed. They're 100% beef. And they usually run, I think, $6.99 or something at the grocery store. And I picked them up for $2.99. I just cook those in the air fryer and get them good and, you know, done that way. It doesn't overcook them. And then I'll steam some broccoli with them. Okay, I think I've rambled enough for you guys. But that is the meal plan for the week. And I hope everyone's meal plan is looking the same, good, and keto-friendly. That's all I have to share. Again, do not forget about that Perfect Keto discount code. It's only for a few days. Links below. Go check them out if you need to pick up your base, your bars, your collagen, which I highly suggest. Go click the link, see what all they got, and get what you need while you can. I'll see you in my next video, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy, and if you're new here, I am going to do the So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe because I'd love to have you. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful group of non-keto, nope. Some pretty exciting news. If you're watching this video on Saturday or Sunday, the 25th and 26th, Alexa, what's the date? It's Friday, January 24th.